Welcome back to the channel. First time here, like, subscribe, all that stuff. xCloud test. I've been doing this every once in a while. I'm going to continue to do it every few months just to see where this uh, service is. It is still in beta, so that's something to remember. Now, I have no interest in streaming video games at all. I think it's the absolute worst way to experience a video game and the worst way to experience what a developer wants you to see with their game. So starting up right here, I, I had a crash. It said, we'll be right back. So I tried again, got me into the game. And I'm going to do this in real time, obviously, because it'll give you that experience that I had. This is on a Wi-Fi hotspot. This is not my own personal internet. And here we are ready to play. going to sign in gamer tag just like you would on your xbox at home and my save files will pop up so this is all interesting and cool that my save files come right in it's just like logging into the xbox at home albeit completely confusing controls because of the uh, touch control option with the mobile device and again i'm not going to walk around with a giant dongle and a controller just to experience these games on the go because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of being on the go. You want to just pull it out and use it. I did say pull it out and use it. I just realized that. I meant your uh, mobile device. So here we are. Loading in. A big problem that I have again is just the controls and, and you know, like A, X, Y, and B. The right, the right trigger, the left trigger are up there. It's weird. It just doesn't feel good to me optimizing controls like this for games like this on touch devices and i think this demonstrates the big gulf between mobile games and games that are designed around being played on a console with a controller so here we are left right up and down i'm using that right stick right now i'm not experiencing any lag but you'll see there's some real issues with this game actual freezes and then you know, pops back to life again. So let's run out here in the open world. Oh, my voice, it's so early in the morning. All right, I'm trying to get a feel for the controls, the buttons. So I'm using that right stick. And I will say that the camera is incredibly touchy and twitchy. And trust me, you'll notice the instances where there's issues. So let's look around. Let's pan the camera a bit. There you go. There's some slowdown right there. I will say it's it's cool to see a game like this on a uh, on a phone. I'm playing on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Just going to play with the camera a bit. Up, down, there's a little stutter right there. There's a freeze, and then a pop back in. There's another one. And again, this is on Wi-Fi. This is not using my uh, data plan, which I'm assuming would be worse. I do have 5G, but I mean, I, I would rather be connected to Wi-Fi than 5G network to be streaming a video game. And again, this idea that this is the future, it's kind of like telling somebody in the 1800s to get rid of their horse because in about 150 years, there's going to be these things called cars. So you don't need your horse right now. It doesn't make any sense. But again, as an ancillary experience, if you absolutely positively have to play this game while you're on the go, this is an option. And again, it's in beta, so let's expect issues. I'm still trying to figure out the controls here, so, you know, left stick seems to be functioning, and there's a freeze, and there's a pop back to life, and there's another stutter. So again, this is not the way I'd want to play this game. And to be fair, I have tested xCloud before and had better experiences, but I've never had an, exper an experience that I would say gets a pass. Most of them have been fails. We're gonna have another complete freeze here. 
and then pop back to life again. Really odd. So let me know what you think about this test in the comments section below. I, for one, am not interested in streaming at all. And again, I don't know how long this is going to be in beta form, but I can't see it getting out of beta anytime soon based on these experiences. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.